I'm Anthony Grant. I'm a fine arts painter. I live in uh, Lafayette, Colorado. And how did you get your start in creating art? Uh, well, I've always been painting uh, ever since high school. Uh, but my mainstay, I was an architect for 25 plus years. Uh, 10 years ago, I decided that was enough and I started painting full time. Um, so prior to that, I was showing in galleries uh, and having just kind of having fun with it. But now it is a full time uh, vocation. And uh, yeah. And how did you choose your medium? Well, um, good question. So I tried all different forms of painting mediums and I narrowed it down to oil painting. I do work in acrylic as well. Those are the only two. But oil seems to um, resonate with me. It's a very uh, forgiving uh, medium and <clears throat> I can, uh, a lot of the techniques I've been using over the years, I've learned through uh, using oil. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just, it's, it's just a lot of fun. It's ch the challenging aspects of it is that it takes a long time to dry. Mm -hmm. Acrylic paint, it's, it's dry within an hour or less. Oils take uh, up to a week um, uh, to dry to the touch and I layer my work. So um, I find that I have to work on four or five pieces at a time. So I'll do a first layer, put it aside, work on another painting, put it aside, because I need to do two or three layers uh, to create the final piece. And that means letting it dry, going back to it, and. Uh, putting uh, more layers on it until it until I think it's finished. I'm looking and at, that's, and that's a challenge too, is knowing when it's done. <laughs> I'm looking and at and admiring the beautiful painting behind you, and I know too that you have painted hummingbirds and uh, landscapes. Yeah, so <clears throat> I I get bored easily. I never stick to any one genre. Um, I'll work in a series though, like the, land, uh, like the um, floral behind you. I have just completed a series of 10 mm -hmm. uh, pieces. And so now it's like, okay, it's time to move on to something else. And yes, I, I tend to do singular images, whether it's a hummingbird or a horse, uh, I just finished a series of buffalo, and it'll be one buffalo in profile. Uh, the other fun uh, thing, I, I like to work in abstraction um, or representational abstraction. So you know what the image is, whether it's a horse or a cow or whatever. But within that piece, uh, there's a lot of fun abstract. Everything's very colorful. And then the texturing and layering and all that seems to work for me. I asked you when you were at the Mulvane Art Fair last year, um, I was looking at one of your landscapes and I asked you, where is that mountain? And you said, it's in, my, it's in my head. Um, I don't think I've ever painted a landscape from a photograph. I don't do plain air where I'm outside. It's everything's done in the studio. Uh, I make decisions whether it's going to be a mountain scene or, you know, trees in the background or whatever, and then I just go for it. And um, usually the color palette uh, drives the piece. Um, and I may have something in my head to begin with, but when it's done, it could look totally different than what I had, had started uh, with the plan. Um, but that's the way I work. It's a lot of fun. It's more challenging for me than to just paint something I can, I see. Uh, again, it's, I have a bit of an abstraction to it, but that, uh, composition always seems to fill itself out. And, um, not that everyone, not that every painting works out. There's no doubt I'll get, I'll say, this is not working out. I'll put it aside and start a new one. I may come back to it 
uh, the one that's not working out. Sometimes it just doesn't, and then I scrape it and um, move on. I mean, uh, the, the, the challenge of being a commercial or uh, a fine arts painter who sells his work, you're limited on how much time you can spend on each piece based on what you're going to sell it for, right? And, and my work is very reasonably priced. So I know I have X amount of time to complete a painting, to sell it at a reasonable price. And, and, and it, it works out really well because I work very fast. And um, yeah, so it's a, there, there's, there is a bit of um, you know, a, a business sense when it comes to creating artwork. And, uh, and, and I have to apply that uh, to my craft, if that makes sense. Yes, and do you have uh, certain favorite paintings of yours that you've <laughs> kept? Oh, I, lo I, I love them all. Um, it's usually the last one I completed is the favorite. Mm -hmm. you know? and, then it, it, and then it drives me to create another piece, you know, it's not like I'm trying to top myself, but uh, no, there are there are a few pieces that I'm really drawn to um, that end up in my home, um, but yet they're still for sale. You know, there, I can't think of one piece that I I said I have to hold on, right? That's the beauty of of being a you photograph everything you do. So you have a memory source, right? And then if, if you're lucky enough to sell a piece to a friend, then you can go over to their home and say, oh yeah, that's right, that's one of my pieces. <laughs> you know, that's, that's kind of fun too. I was just in California uh, visiting friends and a client I, I had done a commission for, I'd never met this woman and her husband and um, I did the painting, I mailed it out to California, and then I was out there visiting, uh, and my friend said, do you wanna walk over and see the painting that you did for so-and-so? And I said, yeah. So I walk into their home for the first time, I meet them for the first time, and there's a four foot square painting hanging in their living room um, that I had done for them. And so that's kind of cool too, you know, it's just, uh, must be fun to see it in the environment. Right, see it, see it uh, in the environment and meet the folks that you did the painting for. I mean, this was all done uh, via online and um, to create the color palette she wanted, the composition she wanted, all of that was done uh, uh, um, uh, through chatting. Mm -hmm. and, and then we got it done, she loved it. It worked out really well, so. Yeah. And, and you can see the joy that it brings them to. Exactly. <laughs> so do you have a favorite artist or someone you admire that inspires you or influences you? Well, you know, um, there, there's uh, artists uh, during a certain period that I was really drawn to and during the uh, 30s, 40s, and 50s. And I mean, that was a time when everything was new. Art was, in, in all genres, in all mediums, was very exciting and new. So uh, the abstract expressionist artists, well, um, uh, Pollock and uh, uh, William D. Cooney and folks like that, I was very much drawn to. Later, um, Jim Dine, um, who uh, started in, the, I think, the 50s, 60s, 70s, uh, who is a, a, a does a, the work I do kind of uh, I borrowed from him a little bit where he does singular images his most famous pieces were bathrobes he would paint a bathrobe um, but it was very colorful and very much alive and had that bit of abstraction within the um, composition that just he, he was very famous for painting hearts and um, very colorful and lively and so forth. So yeah, he, uh, he was, and he was an excellent draftsman to boot. So it's, um, and then because of my architectural background, I was really uh, drawn to that, uh, uh, his uh, drafts uh, as a draftsman. So uh, yeah, those are, um, I love all 
uh, I, I love so many different types of art. Um, I, I was in Florida not long ago visiting graffiti art and whatnot, and uh, it was very exciting for me. And um, yeah, so, um, so it's all kinds of stuff. I, uh, I love going to galleries and museums and checking out what other people do. Um, some some things I'm not drawn to, but there's a lot there that excites me. And, and I think, well, wow, maybe I can borrow some of this information um, and, and see if that would work in, in my stuff. And um, so, yes, it's, it, I love that. So <clears throat> your wife showed us some of the, showed me some of the other things on the walls in your home, but what, is it mainly your work that hangs on the walls of your home or do you have a variety of you know, no. Um, so that's a good question. I probably own three pieces um, from other artists, and none of them are paintings. Cool. They're uh, ceramics, some uh, three-dimensional pieces um, that I have uh, in um, my one of my homes. So uh, I hang my work. You know, it's like. Um, and uh, it, 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 it's like my house becomes a gallery, mm -hmm. you know, and it works for me. And people literally come over and say, oh, I love that piece. And they'll buy it right off the walls. So um, to answer your question, no, I don't have a lot of other artists work. Uh, but like I said, I can go to any museum or gallery. I'm showing in a gallery right now here in our town. And I can walk in there and look at other artists work. I don't have to. Uh, actually purchase it to enjoy it. Um, just kind of on a, a larger level, why is art important to society, do you think? Why, why do we have the Mulvane Art Fair? Why do we have museums? Why are, why are these things important? Well, um, growing up uh, as a high schooler, um, I, start, I started going to museums uh, pretty young. And I got jazzed by it. I mean, I just you, you, your uh, your soul kind of just lights up when you see work, or at least for it, it did for me, which then inspired me to um, try it. Try it, and then from there, you know, I, uh, there's a reason why it's in school, uh, for the most part. It's trying, to, it's kind of getting away from that, but there's a reason. Uh, they have the arts in school. And, I mean, it, 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 it's just good. Uh, um, the creativity of it, you know, it, it gets your mind thinking about other things. It doesn't have to be all science, you know. And, and I mean, the arts are just uh, something that people enjoy. And I enjoy when they like what I'm doing. You know what I mean? And then that just drives me to do more. It's not always about the money, but it, it you know, it's just, it's just, um, I, my kids, uh, you know, it's, my kids will walk in here, they're both teenagers now, and I'll say, do you like this painting? And they go, yeah, sure, dad. But it's only because they've seen it all their lives, right? And, <laughs> but then other people, I have an, uh, uh, a young college kid coming over on Saturday that wants to see my work because she wants to get involved in call and take uh, art classes in college. They said, come over to the studio. So I've had a lot of kids come over and look at my work and get totally jazzed about it, especially when I ex explain what I'm doing and what's going on. So I know, I know it's important. Um, and uh, yeah. But, the, but don't ask my kids because they, they don't care a bit. <laughs> you say it's it's all what you what you're used to. It, it, yeah. it the soul. But, but we're sorry that we had to cancel the Mulvane Art <clears throat> Fair this year due to COVID nineteen. And uh, do you uh, last year was that your first year at the art fair? No, it was my second. Um, last year was great. Uh, I did I did very well. Um, and uh, matter of fact, uh, PP, you have PBS there? At yeah. Mm -hmm. So they interviewed me, 
and uh, and um, so that was kind of cool. Um, I loved the show, um, uh, the different mediums that were going on, the people that the other artists that were there, uh, the people that were being were engaged and asking questions and um, you know giving me kudos for for the work. Mm -hmm. I sold a lot of work, um, stayed on campus uh, in the dorms. Um, took advantage of the Dairy Queen down the street. I mean, the whole thing was really nice. Yeah. And uh, I wanted, and I uh, applied for this year. I got into the show. I was excited to go, um, even though it's like 10 plus hour drive, but you know, uh, I, was, I was excited to go. And so, yeah, I'm disappointed that it was canceled. A lot of my shows have been canceled, unfortunately, for this year. Um, but that doesn't stop me from working. I mean, my inventory is great right now, um, but you know, you just can't stop. So I'll, I'll have double what I need for you know, 2021. Hopefully we'll get back on track then. We hope to see you then. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time and uh, we appreciate your wisdom and <laughs> talk all your wise words today and thanks for talking with us all right and we'll see you next year at mulvane art fair 2021 okay thank you thank you